Hey everybody, welcome to Hacktoberfest 2022. Hacktoberfest is a month-long celebration of open source, and I'm really excited about this year's Hacktoberfest. Here I am on hacktoberfest.com. You can check out this awesome new design that the team has put together. But Hacktoberfest is about open source, and open source really does make the world go round. So this month, we are dedicated to helping out open source. To participate in Hacktoberfest, let's say you're a big fan of open source like I am, what do you have to do to participate in Hacktoberfest? Well, to participate in Hacktoberfest, you just have to create four pull requests that are merged on public repos that are marked as Hacktoberfest repos. So four repos over the month of October. Let's go look at this participation tab on the website here. If we scroll down, you can see our values. Everyone is welcome. Quantity is fun, but quality is key. So make sure you put in some quality pull requests. We want to help out these repos that we are contributing to. Short-term action equals long-term impact. And the more we help out open source, the more impact the projects that we contribute to have on the world. So let's say you're a contributor. If you're watching this video, what do you have to do to participate? You can register between September 26th and October 31. You can make a pull request on any GitLab or GitHub hosted project that's participating in Hacktoberfest. And if you click these links here, the GitLab one right here, if I click that, it takes you to some nice repos that are labeled as Hacktoberfest repos. And if you click the GitHub link as well, it'll do the same. Whenever you're browsing around for a repo to contribute to, make sure that it has the Hacktoberfest topic. This is how we can be sure that your contributions will be counted towards Hacktoberfest. Project maintainers must accept your pull or merge requests for them to count towards your total. And the difference here, pull or merge requests, merge requests are what we call them with GitLab, and pull requests are what they're called over on GitHub. For the rest of this video, I will say PR or MR for pull request or merge request. Just know that they're interchangeable and that each one points to GitLab or GitHub. And we need to have four pull or merge requests accepted between October 1 and October 31 to complete Hacktoberfest. So in addition to helping out the open source community, what do you get if you complete Hacktoberfest? Well, the first 40,000 participants are eligible to get a tree planted in their name or this year's Hacktoberfest 2022 t-shirt. So let's get started. We have to do pull requests to participate in Hacktoberfest. If we scroll down here on our participation page, there are resources for beginners. There's introduction to GitHub open source, lots of great info on this website. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to make a pull request on GitHub using Git, which is a version control system, and GitHub, which is a website where we store a lot of our open source projects. So here I go over to the github.com cloud haiku repo. And this is a repo we like to show off here at DigitalOcean. It's a great starting repo to create a pull request on. Now to start off, whenever you find a GitHub repo that you want to contribute to that you think is a fantastic project, in Hacktoberfest, we wanna make sure that the topic is labeled over here. You see the Hacktoberfest topic over here on the right. And then the number two thing that you need to do when you're contributing to open source projects is to scroll down and see if there's any guide on contributing. You always wanna make sure that your contributions to a project match what that project expects from you. So let's see, to contribute a haiku to this repo, read about submitting a pull request in this tutorial, compose a haiku in Markdown. So let's make sure we do that in Markdown. You should name your file your haiku title.md and put it in the underscore haikus directory. And then we have Jekyll format, so we have to do this at the top. Let's see, writing a haiku, haiku format is five, seven, five syllables. Okay, so we have that out of the way. Very important to look at how to contribute to a repo. Next, let's create a PR. I'm gonna go over here and step one is to fork this repo. I'm gonna click fork. Look at that, 2,000 people have already done this. So I'm gonna click fork. 
and we're gonna call it Cloud Haiku, select an owner. I'm gonna do this to my personal GitHub account. Copy the main branch only, I'll create the fork here. All right, now you can see that this repo is now in my account, Chris Sev Cloud Haiku, forked from the DO community, Cloud Haiku. Now that this repo is in our account, we can make changes because we can clone it, we can make changes to it, we are the owner of this repo. We couldn't have done that on the DO community because we don't have right access to that repo. So to start us off, let's get this code locally on our computers. I'm gonna click code, and there's three different ways to clone it. There's the HTTPS URL, there's SSH, and there's the GitHub CLI. I'm gonna go ahead and use the SSH version. Either of these would work. I'm gonna copy this, and let's go open up my terminal. I'm gonna say git clone, paste that in, and that'll be in my Batcave folder. That's just where I put my projects, and I'll click enter. All right, we have that clone done. Now let's open up this repo in VS Code so that we can edit it, make some changes, and then finally create our pull request. Let's go ahead and open this in code. I'm going to use a VS Code shortcut to open this, code cloud haiku. Next up, we are going to go into this haikus folder. We'll create our own. I'll say 2022. It seems like everyone's doing it by year. And we'll do my code doesn't work dot MD. Now we need that little code snippet from the GitHub repo in the contributing section. So let's go get that. Let's scroll down to the contributing section, Jekyll format. Let's grab this. Let's go over to VS Code. And we'll paste that in like that. Title, my code doesn't work. Author, Chris Sev. And let's do our haiku. It needs to go five syllables, seven syllables, and five syllables. What is happening? I typed it incorrectly. I think that's seven syllables. My code does not work. <laughs> so that is my haiku for the day. I'm gonna click save. Now we need to commit this with git so that our GitHub repo knows that this is the file that we just created. So let's open up our terminal with control tilde. This is the VS Code built-in terminal. I'm going to write git status just to see what's changed. What has changed is one untracked file and this is the file that we just created. So I need to do two things. I need to stage this change. And to do that, I'm gonna say git add, and I'm gonna put a period which says all the files that are changed. Let's add those and stage those. Now let's do git status. And now changes to be committed. So this is the one file that we want to change and commit to this repo. So we're saying we want this change to persist. Now I'm gonna say git commit and we're gonna add a message, dash M, Chris Sev Haiku. And that's my message for what this commit is about. I'll click enter, git status. Your branch is ahead of the origin main by one commit, so that means we can push this up to our GitHub repo now. So I'm gonna click git push. Let me clear that out actually, git push, enter. And now all of our code has moved up to github.com, Chris Sev, Cloud Haiku. So let's go back over to the GitHub repo. This one's ours. If I refresh right here, you can see that this is the latest commit, which is Chris Sev, Chris Sev's Haiku. And you can see it right here as well. So there's a bunch of different ways to go create the pull request. We can go back to the original repo and then create it there. Or there's a nice handy little section right here. This branch is one commit ahead of DO community main branch. And there's a little button that says contribute here. So I can open this pull request from my forked repo. And I'll click that right here, open pull request. 
This sends us back to Cloud Haiku, the DO community version, and it's opening a pull request. Chris Sev Haiku is what I'm going to say is happening. And this is the interesting part. The base repo is DO community Cloud Haiku on the main branch. And we want to pull a request against Chris Sev Cloud Haiku main branch. So any changes from this right here are getting brought over to the main Cloud Haiku main branch. So this is how we can create code, write whatever we need to, maybe fix some typos, and then commit back to the original repo. Thanks for reading my pull request. And then I'll create this pull request. And now we just wait for the maintainers to either provide some feedback, or they can right here, and then we'll get notifications on it, or merge the pull request. And normally you wouldn't see the merge pull request button. Since I am part of the DO community repo, I can see the merge pull request button, but normally you'll have to wait until one of the maintainers of the project comes in and presses the button. And then that counts towards one of your four pull requests for Hacktoberfest. All right, so that's how we create a pull request using GitHub. All right, I've given it a day and check it out. My pull request has been merged by L Tagliaferri over here. And that'll be Lisa who has merged my haiku and now it's part of the repo. So that's how I added my pull request to a GitHub repo. Next up, I wanna take a look at how we can add a merge request on a GitLab repo. So here I am. I have a GitLab repository, that's my own, called Sample React, and it's a React application that you can deploy to DigitalOcean. Now this year, we are encouraging contributions that are low-code, no-code contributions. They also help out open source projects, fixing things like typos, adding to documentation, making things a little bit clearer in the code. All of these things are very much welcome in Hacktoberfest. In this repo, we have a GitLab repo called Sample React. We are on the master branch. The way I can create a merge request on my own repo, and this would be kind of the same for if you had another repo, except you would start by forking it. Since I own it, I can make a merge request against it without forking it. So what I have here is, let's go to my other branch, readme typos. Let's go down to README, and I'm gonna do all of these changes right in the browser. We don't even need to go to VS Code. We don't need to clone this repo to our local environment. And I'll click this Edit button right here, Edit. And we'll say Getting Started, and I'll just throw a bunch of exclamation marks in. I know that's not the most valid merge request. I know it's not really contributing to the project. We wanna focus on high value contributions. I just want to do this to show off how to create a merge request on GitLab. Commit message, updating readme. Um, let's say making more exciting. Target branch readme typos, and I'll commit these changes. And now that we have created our commit and we've updated our branch, the readme typos branch, I can create a merge request against the main branch from this readme typos branch. So you can either click this create merge request button here, or I can go straight to the main repo. And GitLab's really nice about telling us, hey, you probably wanna create a merge request. Or I can go over here and click merge request on the left side. I can click new merge request. And now I'm saying, hey, the source branch that I want to pull from is readme typos, the one we just made and the target branch is the master branch. I'm gonna click compare branches and continue. And now we can scroll down, we can assign people to it, add labels, and we can create the merge request. So now I have a merge request created on a GitLab repo, and now we just wait for the maintainers to review it and hopefully merge it in. So that's how you create a merge request in GitLab. I'm really excited about Hacktoberfest. I hope you are as well. I hope you get in some great pull and merge requests, and I hope you contribute to some fantastic projects. Let's make open source as a whole more impactful. 
Thanks for watching and happy contributing.